Welcome back. So we've been talking about the singular value decomposition, and I'm excited to show you a number of codes that walk through these concepts of dimensionality reduction and coordinate transformations uh, in both MATLAB and Python. So all of the codes uh, that I'm going to talk about are on our website at databookuw.com in, uh, in both MATLAB and in Python. So chapter one on the SVD follows uh, the sections from this book, Data-Driven Science and Engineering, by myself and Nathan Kutz. And now I'm going to walk you through the Python code uh, for each of, these, uh, each of these sections. And this is Python code that was written by Daniel Deluski. So I'm going to walk you through uh, these IPython notebooks, these Jupyter notebooks that, uh, that, that he developed uh, based on this material. Okay, great. So you can download all of this code and all of this data online. And here we go. Okay. So the first video lecture, uh, the first Python code I'm going to walk you through is how to do image compression as a really, really simple example of how to use the SVD. So remember, we have uh, a matrix X, and we're going to decompose this as some U times sigma times V transpose. And what we might do is we might approximate this matrix. This is the singular value decomposition. We might approximate this by some low rank product, U sub R times sigma sub R times V sub R, where this is the first R columns of the U matrix from the SVD. This is the first R columns of the V matrix, and this is the first R by R subblock. So this is what you call a rank R approximation of X, and that's how we're going to approximate uh, images. So for example, if this X was a 2D image of a person or a coffee cup or a dog, then we would try to approximate this image X as the product of a few columns, a handful of R columns, and a, times a handful of R rows. And this would be a compression, because instead of uh, storing all of these N by M uh, rows and columns, I just have to, to store R of them. So that's what this, um, this code is going to do. So I'm going to move my uh, code back there. Uh, okay, good. So we're always going to load uh, NumPy as NP and matplotlib uh, as plot so that we can uh, easily use those commands in those, uh, in those libraries. And we're going to import uh, matplotlib.image into imageread. So um, we're, we're, sorry, we're going to import the imageread command from matplotlib so that we can, we can use it to load our image here. Okay. So the first thing is super simple. We're going to load an image of my dog, Mordecai, a JPEG image, so image read, into this matrix A. And it's a full color image, so it's actually N by M by three color channels. Uh, and so we're going to convert it to grayscale. So that's um, essentially what this is going to do here, is take the average over that third channel to make a grayscale uh, X matrix. We're going to plot the image. And in general, when you plot, notice here I have im show 256 minus x. That's because the way I'm getting this black background is I did a hard invert on my laptop's colors. And so uh, I'm subtracting 256, my image from 256 to invert it. You would just do im show of x. You don't need that 256 minus. Okay? We're going to use a gray color map uh, and so on and so forth. So let's just run this. And we should see um, an image of my dog Mordecai pop up. That's Mort. Okay, Mort the snow dog. He's uh, playing in the snow here. Okay, so that's Mort. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this array, which essentially is our data matrix X, and we're going to compress it. We're going to factor it into this, these unitary matrices U and V and this diagonal matrix sigma. And then we're going to approximate more at different ranks, rank 5, 10, 20, stuff like that. Okay, good. So, oh yeah, and he's actually taller than just his head. So now we're getting to this uh, SVD part. Okay, so in Python, the SVD is also very, very simple. So in uh, numpy.linalg.svd, you take in uh, this matrix X, 
And this option here, full matrices equals false, that's basically saying you want to do the economy SVD. So instead of, of returning a U matrix that's n by n huge and V that's also square, we're just going to return uh, the first M columns uh, of U, the first M columns of U corresponding to the non-zero singular values. Okay, so computing the SVD is super simple. Then we're going to uh, extract out the diagonal uh, singular values from this S matrix. And then what we're going to do is uh, com essentially construct these low rank approximations of Mort at rank uh, 5, 20, and 100. And we're going to see how good those matrix approximations are. And you can see here it's really simple. You just take the first R columns of U times the first R by R block of sigma times the first R columns of V transposed. And that's your, your X approximation. So these are just matrix multiplications here. Okay. And then we're just going to plot uh, those approximations at rank 5, rank 20, and rank 100. So let's do that. Okay. So this is the rank five approximation of my dog. And you can tell that it's not perfect, but you can actually see a lot of the relevant features. You can see kind of the nose, the eyes, the ears, uh, even the, the, the stripes on his back. So I know it's my dog, uh, rank five. At rank 20, this is obviously a dog. Like it's very clear that this is a picture of a dog. In fact, it's not just a dog, it's my dog. You can tell that this is Mort. Um, I could pick him out of a lineup even from 20 modes. So that's only keeping the first 20 columns of U, uh, U sub R, and the first 20 columns of V. Uh, and there's a sigma in here. There's the sigma R by R multiplying in there as well to scale all of these columns so that they add up to the right, uh, the right dog. And by the time we get to 100, rank approximation, it's actually extremely uh, faithful representation of Mort. You can see like the glint in his eye and, you know, individual freckles uh, in, his, in his pelt and things like that. Okay, so 100 rank approximation is really, really good. And this is, I think, about uh, only storing 12% of the original data. So if you only stored the first 100 columns of U and V in the first 100 diagonal elements of sigma, that would be something like an eight times compression of this data matrix X. And you still have very faithful uh, reconstruction of Mort. So I think that's pretty cool um, there. Okay, and then what we can also do is we can plot the singular values. So I would always recommend when you have a new data matrix X and you compute its SVD, you always want to plot the singular values, uh, these diagonal elements of sigma, and I usually plot them in a log plot, log sigma J versus J, right here. And not only do I plot the, the log of the singular values, but I also plot the cumulative sum of the singular values. I, I plot basically the sum of all of the sigma j's from j equals 1 to r, divided by the sum of all of the singular values from j equals 1 to m. And so what this tells you is kind of the fraction of the energy captured by the first r modes. Okay, so it should go up to 1. This is kind of 100% of the energy, or, or 1. And at rank r, this tells you how much uh, of, the, of the matrix is captured by those first r modes. And so this is the, the log singular values for Mort, and this is the cumulative uh, energy in those singular values. And you can see this is kind of exactly what I want in a data matrix, is notice this is on a log scale. There's a lot of, there's a, a lot of energy in the first very few modes. This is the first maybe 10 or 20 modes, and that's capturing a large fraction of the energy. These singular values are much, much larger than all of these. And what that means is that I can get away with keeping only these first few and throwing away a lot of the remaining singular values and truncating. Uh, and you can also see that in this cumulative plot here, where even just keeping the first singular vector captures about 30% of the energy, and then very rapidly we get up to 70, 80, 90% just with the first um, you know, 50 or 100 modes. Okay, So even though it's a high-res image, I don't actually need to keep all uh, of that information. I can, I can compress it using the singular value decomposition. Okay, thank you.